Hi Arnaby, this is a video for you. I am looking at making a tally chart and you know that tally charts um, count in this way. They get one, two, three, four, and then shut the gate five. So that bundle equals five. So if I was writing six, it would be that. If I was writing seven, it would be that. Okay. With this first activity, you basically need to count at the bananas. Cross them off as you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I can see 12 bananas, so here I go. One, two, three, four, shut the gate five. Six, seven, eight, nine, shut the gate 10, 11, 12, and the total of 12. Okay, so when you come to do that, that's what I'm expecting for that one. Next question says, go up here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It says, let's go up. It says here, I will use a circle for each piece of fruit. Right, well, instead of drawing sticks now, like we did down there, we're going to draw, we're going to turn them into uh, pieces of fruit. So how many how many bananas did we have? Wasn't it, um, wasn't it 12? So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now instead of sticks, we've got dots that equal a piece of fruit. But that's quite hard to see. In a way, it would be easier to leave them in bundles of five. So what they've come up with is another idea. Instead of saying um, each piece of fruit is one circle, they've turned each piece of fruit into two. Now, you see these here? We're going to put them together in one big circle. So there's two in there now. There's four in there now. There's six in there now. There's eight in there now. There's ten in there. And then there's 12. So 2 or 2 or 2 or 2 or 2 or 2 equals 12, doesn't it? Now, Arnaby, it looks like I've only got six things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But you know, Arnaby, don't you, that inside each of those bigger dots now isn't one banana but two. Okay? So when you come to do that table, that's really easy because one piece of fruit is one dot. So you'll need 12 bananas. But when you come to do the second one down here, annoyingly it won't go, hang on. When you come to do the second table, let's get rid of that. So that was the top table, wasn't it? When you come to do this one called C, you're gonna to have to use those bigger circles with two bananas in each. So one, two makes a bigger circle. One, two, so there's two, four, and then you need to draw 12, but not 12 circles. 12 bananas in a big circle okay right let's have a look down here this is the next question it says here it says class two uh, vote for whether they would like to play tennis football or netball the tally chart shows the votes well I can see yeah tally chart it's asking us uh, to what complete the pictogram now this time a yellow circle equals a whole one of those because a yellow circle equals five votes so I can see that there's a whole load there a whole load there a whole load there and a whole load there oh and I can see a whole load there and a whole load there so we're now putting them into yellow bundles of um of fives I can see that five people like tennis so that means there's got to be just one yellow bundle because inside there of five people's votes. How many people are going to be playing football? How many yellow circles are you going to have there? Well, there'd be one, two, three. There'd be four yellow circles in there. Okay, so you finish off that one. Let's have a look at the next one. It says the tally chart shows the weather for 55 days. Okay, these are in bundles of five, aren't they? It says draw a pictogram to show this information. Choose your own key. Now here, the key was that one circle equals five. You, Arnavi, you might choose the same key. You might say, well, actually, one bundle of five is, um, is a circle. Or you could say one bundle of five is a, um, is a square. Or you might not put them in bundles of five, Arnavi. You might put them in um, bundles of, of ten and have like a long one. Okay, so you've got to make your own key. So I wonder what key you'll use. What key would it be? 
as something, maybe a circle equals 5, a circle equals 10. I don't know. You have a go. Great, hope this helps.